ECOWAS invasion of DJ will last longer than projected. Russia, hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to my noble channel. Russia has warned that the deployment of the military by the community of West African state ECOWAS to a Niger Republic will last longer than projected. We believe that a military solution to the crisis in Niger could lead to a protracted confrontation in Africa, country and a sharp destabilization of the situation in the Sahara, Sahara region as a whole. The Russian Foreign Ministry said in a statement on Friday, supporters of the military junta had earlier called on Western nations to leave the country and voiced support for the Russia. Both France and the U.S. separate military base in Niger, which have been used to launch operation against jihadist group present in the wider region. Military officials from ECOWAS countries are reportedly set to meet on Saturday the draft plans for a military intervention. The bloc has said it remained open to finding a diplomatic solution to the crisis, but Nigerian President Bola Metinibu said on Thursday, no option is taken off the table, including the use of force as a last resort. In a statement, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said, the United States appreciates the determination of ECOWAS to explore all options for the peaceful resolution of the crisis. Late last month, the military has stated the democratically elected president Mohammed Bazoun in Niger and suspended the constitution in the country. Fears are growing for the health and safety of Mr. Bazoun, who has been held captive since the military seized power on July 26. United Nations High Commission for Human Rights, Vuka Tok, said on Friday, credible reports I have received indicated that the condition of detention could amount to human and degrading treatment in violation of international human rights law. Now you guys have seen it as violating of his law. Why is it that African leaders always collaborate with the white leaders to cause problems for their people? Suffering and smiling. That is what people undergo in Africa. Suffering and smiling. That is what people suffer in Africa. Because why? Because our leaders have nothing to offer. They continue to pretend. They continue to use the money from our resources that are supposed to be used for infrastructure to do so many things outside their countries, build mansions, have different companies here and there while the masses continue to suffer. If the Niger president was doing well, the masses will not support those who plan the coup to remove him. This is what people don't understand. There's no how a president will be doing well and the masses will support coup plotters to remove him. That is not possible. This is because they are not doing well. In fact, they have continued to cause problems. That's the truth. Sometimes I don't understand why the leaders who call themselves leaders continue to use the head of innocent masses of their country. They were selling their resources for two around something dollar. Why they offer them twelve dollar in return? What a shame. With the, their president, former president Amin, 
said that he was not aware of what the France was doing. This is what we are talking about. Sometimes people have to be careful on what they do. Now the masses says, no, we will support the military juntas to remove this man. He has caused us so much problem. But you are doing everything possible. As echoes. To arrest and kill innocent masses in the Nigerian Republic. What a shit. What a shame. When will all this end? I've said this several times that the day Biafrans will be free from the hands of Nigerians believing that the slavery will stop in Africa. Biafra is the last man hope. Biafra is the masses hope. Biafra is the people's hope. If you don't know, you have to know that now. All these men that call themselves leaders in Africa, you will see some of them are drug barons. Some of them are even terrorists, just like Buhari is. Some of them are so many things. And you see that some world powers, they will recognize them the way they are. They will patronize them. They will have handshake with them. They will work on them. Meaning that if you even give them cockroach as a president, they are going to work on it. This is because they don't give a damn about the plight of the masses who are suffering in that country called Africa. What they love is just to swindle their resources. That is it all. Nothing else. And so far as the leader who happens to be cockroach is helping them to get that done. They don't give a damn. This is why they hate the military regime. Because they cannot deceive military like that. But this is a very simple thing. The masses of Niger like what the Juntas did. In fact, they supported them. They jubilated with them. They were happy. So why should Echoes, led by the Tinibu government, try to invade their land? They should tell France to go and dig more gold somewhere else. France, France government. They should also tell the American government to go somewhere else and do, dig more gold and leave the Niger alone. They have decided to solve their problem by themselves. So why should someone continue to plan to invade their land? Well, I don't have much to say. I think I've come to the end of this news. Stay blessed. Cheers.